Dr. Humago is on the line with, with us. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How again. are you today? Very good, thank you. Great. Now, Doctor, many have asked where are our local government chairman or our commissioners to engage the grassroots when we need them most. What's your answer to this crisis? That's in relation to you know the trial vaccine that we're talking about. Well, you know, <clears throat> at this point, we are talking about clinical phase of the of the vaccine. So that means that the laboratory work has been done. Uh, it has been tested in in animals. And now it's time to do it, the testing in humans. And, you know, from information available, Nigeria is not the only country that is uh, interested in participating. Uh, currently, there are over 100 countries that have signed up for this. So Nigeria uh, um, indicating interest to join is a very good thing um, because that will mean that we know how it works in our own people. All right, so it's not like after they tested it somewhere, we are asking them to please give us the vaccine. Okay, but with our own people being tested, we know. And truly, yes, it has to be voluntary. And that's why the engagement is needed. You need to engage people, you need to educate people, you need to explain to them, okay, what it entails um, and what is already known. Because one of the reasons why you do preclinical evaluation, that's what you do at the level of animals, is to look at safety. So you have already decided that this thing is safe, okay, from animals. Sure part of the animals they use are those monkeys that are very close to humans in terms of features. So they already know that it is safe enough. You know, out of the 89 or so vaccines, only eight of them have been found to be eligible for clinical evaluation. And that's why um, Nigeria is opting to be part of it. So those, one, those eight is what... Um, you know, we know that are safe enough to be administered in humans. Okay, so we need to engage our people and let them be educated and know that the, the government of Nigeria, World Health Organization, would not deliberately, you know, want to give anybody, any human being, anything that will uh, cause problem to the person. It's part of the ethical uh, considerations in carrying out uh, uh, clinical evaluations of things like this. Well, Dr. Humago, I'm, I'm aware you know that uh, there's a doctor also here. Dr. Bala is in studio mm. with us and in this conversation. Yes. His position yes. is that this is too premature. This decision is too premature. Again, he's adding to that the fact that, you know, there is no so much of awareness. Between both of you as experts, you understand that the, the fact that, oh, some testing would have been done, uh, some clinical trial would have been done for them to arrive at this. But for the common person out there, every other Nigerian may not know. Uh, we don't have this information. So do you agree that yes, we need to have uh, more information, more awareness re you know, created so that we even know where we are as a people, even though the government has answered on behalf of every Nigerian. What's your position on that? Yeah, so that's where, that's our responsibility now. Um, you know, the government, like the parents, sign up for something for you. So they have the responsibility to come and tell you what they have signed up for, the implications, and what are the things that are likely to happen. Okay, so that's where the Nigerian government and all of us, especially those of us who are in the medical profession, who know how important it is to do these trials. You know, because the point is that I'd rather be, I'd be more comfortable if we have a trial where our people were involved than to bring a, a, a drug or a vaccine that was done in another population and then you say we should come and take it. That is start, like starting from ground zero. But if we are, we are involved from day one, then we have an idea of how it will work or not work in our people. So that's why it's massively important that we all go out, talk to our people, educate our people and to engage them, let them know the importance of being a part of this vaccine. I agree that it's a bit acute, but you know that we are in a very unusual time, okay? And this kind of thing requires unusual approach too. The general, the general approach to vaccine usually takes up to four years, you know, to develop. But this is something people are dying every day, and you need to be able to do something within the shortest possible time. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, we must go this route. 
but it's our responsibility. I agree with the doctor. It's our responsibility to engage with our people and put every all, all the cards on the table. We don't want a repeat of what happened in Kano some years back. Okay, because people are still suspicious of vaccine in this country today. Whatever kind of vaccine you are bringing to Nigeria, people have their suspicion. And those suspicions, those fears must be allayed. And it is the responsibility of government and all of us in the medical profession to do that.